Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to use an automotive relay as a kill switch in your car. All right, so the very first thing you're gonna need is obviously a relay. I picked this one up. This one has a little uh, chingadera right here so that you can either zip tie it or screw it onto the vehicle. If you understand how a relay works, there's pin 30 and 87, there's pin 85 and 86. This right here is the control side of the relay. This right here is the load side of the relay. So we're gonna use a control side of the relay to control uh, the starting circuit. You can do any circuit with this. That's the beauty of this, that you can get creative with it and you can have any circuit control whatever other circuit you want by using a simple automotive relay. So the first thing you need is a relay. You're gonna need some wire. I'm gonna use red for the load side and I'm gonna use brown for the control side. You're gonna need some wire strippers. These are very, very good because they're small, you can get into tight spaces. I'm gonna also be using this power ground circuit tester for inside the vehicle because that's where I'm gonna be doing my wiring. You also need a test light, the handy dandy scope on the rope like Eric O says. And you're gonna need a bunch of little connectors like this. You're gonna need a bunch of these right here, okay? Because these are gonna be the reason I like these and the reason I tell you to use a relay like this is because these fit perfectly onto the relay like that. See that? So get yourself some terminals like this. Get yourself a relay like this. And then I also recommend you get some of these T-splice connectors because we're going to be splicing into another circuit and whatever circuit you choose is up to you. If you understand the basics of how a relay works, then this should come easy to you. All right, so let's go over to the diagram. Let's see how this is gonna work so that you can get started on your kill switch today. Boom. All right, guys, check this out. I drew this little diagram for you guys to understand how we're gonna wire up this relay. Now, this is exactly how it looks like. Uh, in my case, what I'm gonna do, so we got pin 30, pin 87, pin 85, and pin 86. What you have to do is interrupt any circuit that you want. You can interrupt the starter, you can interrupt the fuel pump, you can interrupt the ignition coil, you can interrupt any circuit that you want that's gonna prevent the car from starting. In my case, I'm gonna interrupt the starter. So I'm gonna cut the starter wire. The, the wire that comes from the ignition switch is gonna go to pin 30. The wire that goes out to the starter is gonna go on pin 87, okay? This is the switch part of the relay. On pin 85 and 86, this is a coil, okay? Now this, is, this coil right here is what controls the relay. So one side of the coil is gonna go to constant ground all the time. The other side of the coil is gonna go to a 12 volt source that you can control. This can either be your headlights, your high beams, your brake lights, your horn, your windows. You can get creative with this, okay? This is how we're gonna use a relay as a kill switch. In my case, I'm gonna use the brake lights. By using the brake lights, I'm gonna to go to the brake light switch. Anytime I step on the brake pedal, that sends, that's gonna send 12 volts to my relay. It's gonna activate the relay, and then I'll be able to crank the car because I'm gonna be interrupting my starter circuit. I'm gonna cut the wires, I'm gonna interrupt it, and it's not gonna work. In this case, not only am I installing a kill switch, but I'm installing like a safety switch because I have kids now, they're growing up, they're getting curious, they're getting in the car, they're trying to start it, move the shifter, but they can't reach the brake pedal. So unless they step on the brake pedal, this car will not crank. That's how I'm gonna wire it. You can get creative with what circuit you're gonna be interrupting. In my case, the starter and the brakes. Okay, so let's go over to the car, wire this up, and let's install this kill switch. All right, guys, the first thing I'm gonna do is right here on the bench, I actually, I'm actually gonna set up my wires onto the relay. I'm gonna take about that much off of the wire. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna take about that much wire from the end. I'm gonna install this spade terminal on there. See that right there? Okay. Now one thing I forgot to mention is to get yourself some good set of crimpers. I'm gonna crimp that on there, like so. See that? Remember I said the brown wire was gonna be for my relay control circuit. So pin 85 and 86. So I'm gonna install that on pin 85. I'm gonna tug on it, make sure that's a good connection. And then this other small wire, this other brown wire, it's gonna be for pin for the other side of the coil. So basically, I'm gonna have this set up. Just gotta make sure that it doesn't come loose. This will go to the other side of the relay, like so. Okay. Now the red wire is gonna be my interrupter. This is gonna go to the, the circuit that I'm gonna be interrupting. In my case, it's the starter circuit. For now, I'm just gonna take about a foot, about a foot of wire, because I don't know where my relay is gonna go for now. So I'll take that much wire, take a little bit off the end, install my terminals on here, crimp it, make sure it's a good tight connection. 
like that. See this? I like to do it this way all the time. I don't know why, but it just looks good on that red piece of insulation on there. And that's not going anywhere, says everybody. So I'll do another wire right here. So look, there it is. That's my last wire. This one's going to go onto pin 87. Okay. And that's what I like about these terminals is it's like they're, they're made for the relay. So they fit perfectly on there. Okay. All right, guys. So now that I have my relay ready, uh, the two red wires are going to be interrupting the starter circuit and the two brown wires. One of them is going to go to direct ground and the other one is going to go to my brake light 12 volt control circuit. Okay. So let's go over to the car. Let's find the circuits and let's wire in this wire in this relay and see if it works. All right, guys, first thing you gotta determine is where you're gonna install the relay. Now, depending on where your two circuits are gonna be, you want those circuits to be pretty close to each other. Now, in my case, I have the ignition switch right here, and then down under the car, I have the brake pedal. So under the dash will be a perfect place for me to access a brake light switch and to access the ignition switch. Now, if you're gonna do headlights, you can also do it in here, or you can go under the hood of the car and do it down there you have the starter over there and you have the headlights over there now in my case i'm gonna go down here and we're gonna find my two circuits all right the very first thing i'm gonna do is start moving my panels right here so that i can access the ignition switch wires now one thing i did forget to mention is you're also gonna need wiring diagrams so in my car i already know what circuits i'm gonna be interrupting i already know the colors of the wires but if you don't know you can either go to an auto repair shop have them print out diagrams for whatever two circuits you're going to be using or get a Haynes manual or go to BBB Industries or go on Google but you have to make sure that you know what wires you're going to be cutting into and which ones you're going to be splicing into so that you don't screw anything up and you don't short anything out or blow fuses or anything like that so right now I'm just going to remove the panels there you go okay so on my car my brake light switch is right here now, if, you, if you're going to go to your brake light switch and you don't know which wire is which, on your brake light switch, one wire should have 12 volts all the time. The other one should have 12 volts once you step on the brakes. And that's the one wire that you want to tap into. Now, what I'm going to be using to tap into this is this little T-splice T connector. I'm going to bite into the wire like that. And then I'm going to install a terminal like this so that I can feed that circuit, okay? Now I can see right here, this is my brake light switch. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it so that I can get the wires down. The wires on this car go right here, but I don't want to open this up. I have the wires accessible up here. Okay, so here's my wires. I'm going to be using my test light to test those wires. All right, so I'm hooking up my, my test light to battery negative. I don't know if you can see these fuses over here. Yeah, okay, so when I touch battery positive, my test light is going to light just like that so on the brake light switch I believe this red wire should have battery power and it does all right I've got the connector here but I gotta test it with the switch connected so I'm actually gonna take the switch out of here just twist it off and it comes right off so I'm gonna connect it now keep in mind that when the brake light switch is installed in the car the switch is depressed so I should have 12 volts on one circuit okay so the switch is pressed this is my 12 volts coming in. Can you see that? Okay, so there I have 12 volts coming in. This wire, once I step on the brake, the light comes on. I release the brake, there's no power. Step on the brake, there's power. So that's the wire that I want to splice into, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is with my splice, I'm actually going to splice into this wire. Now you're going to need some pliers because it's going to have to bite into the wire. Just like that. Now that we spliced into the brake light circuit, I can install my terminal. And I want to test this terminal right here. Okay. So that is a good connection right there. That's how we want it. That is good. Spliced into my control circuit right there. I'm going to install this switch back. And then I'm going to find a constant ground. This is where one of the brown wires is going to go to on the relay. I'm going to install the switch back. Okay, so that's one wire. That's the control side. I need to find a constant ground, so I'm going to connect my test light to battery positive now. I'm going to switch over to battery positive on my little Lyo tester. So let me show you guys. I switched over to battery positive right there on the Lyo tester. So now when I touch ground, my light should light. And that's where I'm going to go for a constant ground. So let me find a good ground here. So I have a shaft, but I don't want to go there. I can go there, but I want to use a small screw because what I'm going to be using is this small eyelid 
and I want to make sure that the screw that I'm going to be using as a ground fits in there. So when I touch the back of this eyelid, which is right there, you can actually see the light lighting, so that's going to be a good ground for me. Now I'm not worried about this being a good kill switch to hide it in a good spot. This is actually for me more than anything, it's a safety feature. So I have a good connection on the brake light switch right here, and I have a good ground right here. So this right here is going to activate my relay, okay? Now I'm just doing, I'm just finding all my connections first before I make my final wiring and then I think I'm going to hide the relay up here. So now I have to find the starting circuit. I got to find that wire, I got to cut it and I got to splice into it. This right here is my ignition switch. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it right here. I believe this red wire I got to test and I got to crank the car to find out which is the starting circuit that I got to interrupt. I'm going to switch my test light over to battery negative because now I'm looking for the starting circuit and I got to crank it to see which one is my starting circuit. Okay. All right guys, I found my wire that goes out to the starter relay and it's this yellow wire right here. This yellow wire provides 12 volts to the starter relay which then provides power to the starter out there. Now just to prove it to you guys, I have my test light connected to battery negative on my Lyle tester and I'm going to pierce this wire right here and it's okay I'm gonna cut it anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank the car and when I crank it I'm gonna crank the car and when I crank it this light should light only when cranking see that do it again there you go so this this yellow wire only has 12 volts when cranking so I'm gonna cut that wire and after I cut that wire this car should not start now I want to give me enough slack because I'm gonna use a butt connector in there and then from this butt connector we'll go to pin 30 and then on the other side we'll connect it to pin 87. You have to make sure, you have to be 100% sure that you're on the right wire because once you cut it, I mean you can always reconnect it but you don't want to be doing that. So I'm going to cut it and leave it long enough to give me enough, boom right there, alright. Just cut my yellow wire that goes out to the starter and I'm going to connect the butt connector on there, on here. And you got to be testing all your wires, make sure you're on the right one. Okay, so I'm going to crimp this here. I usually solder, but under here, I have no problem using butt connectors. And you pull on it, make sure it's not going anywhere. Now, I'm going to take this wire. Yeah. Okay. All right, so now you can clearly see I got my wires up here. One of this, one of these wires is going to go to pin 30. One is going to go to pin 87. Over here, we have the control switch for the relay. This is 12 volt controlled. And over here, we have a constant ground. So everything is right here. Now I can easily hide my relay up here, make my connections, and now I got a kill switch. All right, look, I have my relay here. I'm going to take my two red wires, and I'm going to connect one to each side of my butt connectors right here. Now it doesn't matter which way because this is just a switch. It's just going to open and close the circuit. Okay, so I'm just going to put one connector on one, making sure I have a good connection because we don't want to have a no start later on. Boom, crimped. All right, that's not going anywhere. That's a nice connection up there. Can you guys see that? No, huh? So there's my connection. This is one of the red wires. This one actually is going to pin 87. But like I said, it doesn't matter because this is just a switch. It's just going to allow current to flow or not flow. Hopefully you guys are following along. This is pretty simple. This is pretty basic relay fundamentals. All right, so I'm going to put the other wire on there. Okay, I'm going to crimp this connection now, making sure I got a good solid connection. If you want to solder in heat shrink, you can do that, but crimping right here is fine. So you can see what I did here. I basically have a switch here, an open switch, that's only going to close once I have power on one side and ground on the other on this relay. Now I'm going to put my relay up here. That's where I want it. All you need is power and ground to energize the coil, which is going to close the switch. So I'm taking the longer wire and I'm going to connect it over here on this one. It's a nice tight connection. Make sure it's a nice tight connection because you don't want to have any, you don't want to have a no start later on. I mean, if you do have a no start, all you're going to have to do is go to the relay, undo the two red wires and put them, put them together. And, and then that'll give you the, your car back to normal. So I'm going to stick this eyelid up in here. The other side of the coil is going to go to the brake light switch. There. So that is my control right there. Everything's wired up. I just got to connect the connector for the brake light switch. And then we're going to test it out by stepping on the brake. See if that happens to give us our kill switch. All right, guys. Before I tuck the relay up in there, all I want to do is cover it up with some electrical tape so that none of those terminals touch ground when they're not supposed to. This way the relay doesn't activate or gives us any electrical problems. So all I'm going to do is run some electrical tape around the relay. See, just like that. 
you look inside of there, these terminals are not going to touch each other. So don't worry about that. Now I just got to find a good place to put the relay up there and put a zip tie on here on this little loop that I have on this little like eyelid. And then I'll put it up there and I'll tuck it in and we'll be good to go with this. You guys can hear the relay click when I step on the brake pedal. So everything's good there. Should be good after that. Boom, right there. Right there. No, I don't like this wire here. All right guys, so I found another spot over here where I put the ground connection. It's the uh, same ground for the alarm and I already tested it. I got my battery. You always want to be testing this, okay? So I got my test light hooked up to battery positive. So when I touch ground, and this is the ground right here. See that? That's a good ground right there. So that's good to go. Now I'm just gonna clean up right here. And that's it, homies. Now, listen. Everything's good. Bye. All right, guys, I already showed you that when I step on the brake pedal, the relay clicks. So now I'm gonna show you that this car does not start like it used to. Look, I'm gonna crank it right here. Nothing. If I step on the brake pedal, I think you can hear the relay clicking. All right. Now I'm gonna step on the brake pedal and crank it. Boom, the car starts. Beautiful. Nothing. Step on the brake pedal. You can hear the relay clicking. Now I can crank the car. Boom, that kill switch is good. Boom, there you have it, homie. That is how you do a kill switch on your car. In my case, not only is it a kill switch, but it's a safety switch. This car will not start unless you have your foot on the brake, which is a safety feature for my Dodge Neon, which didn't come with it. Now, I gotta cover something real quick. I showed you in this diagram that you can use the relay to interrupt the starter, the fuel pump, and the coil, or any part of your ignition system. But keep in mind that this relay has to be activated in order for you to be able to control this. Now, if you wanna keep your fuel pump running and your coil, then you're gonna to have to keep your headlights on, or your high beams on, or your brake lights on, which is impossible when you're driving, or you're gonna to have to be honking the whole time. So. Don't go to the fuel pump, don't go to the coil. I mean, you can if you wanna keep your headlights on the whole time, but I wouldn't do that. We're only trying to do a kill switch here, which is why I went to the starter. My car does not crank unless I step on the brake pedal. So the best thing for this is go to the starter. Forget the fuel pump, forget the coil, unless you can keep one of these things on at all times, or else your car's gonna turn off, okay? Now, one more thing before I go. Today is Monday, tomorrow is Tuesday. Tomorrow I will be giving away these flip sockets from MotiveX Tools. Boom, right there. Now if you wanna enter the, the giveaway, I'm gonna drop another video tomorrow and I'll be giving you more details as to what you need to do to win these sockets. Last week's winner is already getting his tools. I shipped them out today, they're on the way to Arizona. So he should be getting them by Wednesday to Thursday, the latest, all right? So if you wanna win flip sockets for MotiveX tools, watch tomorrow's video. If you wanna buy tools from MotiveX, go to MotiveXTools.com and at checkout, use discount code HOMIE. I said this in my prior video, and you'll get 10% off your entire order, okay? Now, I'm gonna be doing giveaways for the rest of the year, homies, so stay tuned, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and don't forget to drop the video a like, leave me some comments. I'm gonna end it right here. I'll see you guys on the next one. I gotta go. I appreciate every one of you guys. So, giveaway tomorrow, stay tuned. Peace.